this organization nationally is called Hearts to Souls. It's been around for about 10 or 12 years. It started in Pittsburgh and its mission was to try to organize these type of sessions around the country in different cities where medical professionals go sort of volunteer time at a local shelter or organization like Helping Up and to provide sort of free foot screening exams, checking out patients who might have a little trouble accessing healthcare to try to give them some of those kind of medical treatments or attention that they may not otherwise get. These are guys that are trying to get their lives back in order after kind of taking a side detour with drugs. Uh, but they all have careers outside of here. And so to get them a new pair of shoes on Thanksgiving, it's just a great feeling to do that. We can trim calluses, we can uh, trim toenails, uh, we're giving some uh, foot fungus cream to them, and we're also giving just general examinations. So like a patient just uh, right before said he had a bunion and wanted to know what he could do about it. We try to use our our talents in a way that can help somebody else, whereas somebody who has a different talent may help in a different way or serve in a different way. And we always feel it's better to prevent problems than to have to deal with it later. And I think this is actually a really nice example of the philosophy of mercy. You know, the Sisters of Mercy started out in Ireland and were very much known as like going out into the community, out to see the people, rather than staying sheltered behind, you know, closed doors, so to speak and try and engaging in the community, and that carries over with Mercy all around the world. They're very involved locally in their community, trying to help people. I think it's the Mercy mission, right? It's the sister's original mission to help out with the underprivileged, underserved, the homeless and the needy in Baltimore City. So we're just carrying out the Sister of Mercy's mission.